we're going to make marshmallow cream. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to start with six teaspoons of meringue powder. And the reason I'm using meringue powder is because I don't want to use the raw egg whites in this recipe. Now to make the egg whites, as I said, was six teaspoons of meringue powder. And I'm going to put actually six tablespoons of warm water in my bowl. And I'm going to put my mixer on high. And I have to make sure that I get all the lumps out. Now it will start to be just like an egg white. And you want to spend about a minute or two to do that. Obviously for the video I'm not going to spend that much time with it. But I want to show you what I have so far. By just beating the meringue powder and the water, you can already see that it's forming small peaks. And that's exactly what we want for this recipe. So I'm just going to beat it for another second or so. And then we're going to put the next ingredient in. The next thing that we're going to put in now is two cups of corn syrup. I'm going to just put it all into the bowl, into the egg whites. Right. And now we're going to beat that on high speed until it's all combined. And you should do that for about a minute minute and a half. I'll show you what it looks like so far. And we're going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt into our mixture. And we're going to mix that salt in. We're going to put two cups of powdered sugar in a little at a time on low until we use it all up. And that was two cups. All right, that was the rest of it. I'm going to be able to raise my speed now. Working the sides of the bowl, make sure that you mix it in real well. And you're going to need a tablespoon of vanilla. So I'll put that in. And just start mixing and beating it. Now you'll want to really beat this for about anywhere for maybe three to five minutes, depending if you're using a hand mixer or you've chosen to use your stand-up. But I find that the more that I beat it, and the longer that I beat it, of course, it becomes more of the consistency of what I want. Now this marshmallow cream, of course, can be used for frostings. People use them for cakes, for icings, for candies. So it has a lot of use for it. But this is really an inexpensive way of making marshmallow cream instead of buying it in the stores. Now this is going to make you two quarts. Now if you're not going to be able to use it all, you can freeze this in a, in a closed uh, container, of course, in the freezer. Or you can put a saran wrap over the top of it, a clear wrap, and then you can keep it in the refrigerator for about a week. So I'm going to show you what I have so far in just the time that I was mixing it. I want to mix the bottom of the bowl. And so far you can see this. Now this still needs to be beaten a little longer. But because of the time frame, I'm going to put that aside and do that later. 
I went ahead and made some to be able to show you what the finished product looks like. And here you go. You can see how beautifully thick it is and fluffy. It makes two quarts and you've made your own marshmallow cream. So give the recipe a try. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.